was to say some. Chopper come out of the box like a motherfucking ray gun. Think you a beast, but you ain't one. You are not on the same page as a kid, you just page one. They had no luck, I had to make some. When I get rich, I'm a Tesla on day one. What color Tesla I want? The red one. What kind of red he want? The Shanks one. My niggas know I got tries. Gripping that wheel. I swear, niggas got callous. My team ain't losing, don't know why you challenging. Chopper go like it's problem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, we are back for some more One Piece. Last time we watched episode 786 to 788, and today we'll be watching episodes 789 to 791. Now, in the last video, we went ahead and got to dive deeper into the town of Chocolate, where none other than Sanji's soon-to-be bride, Pudding, resides and was able to help out a very uh, ravenous <laughs> Luffy and Chopper that were essentially eating the town to its entirety. They had devoured her cafe and you know, just happened to be the bride of uh, the very crewmate that they're trying to save. So talk about convenience. But she was able to get him out of the uh, little pickle because uh, the town's chocolate police or choco cops, I don't know what they're calling them, but he was ready to arrest them because uh, eating the property of the town is not allowed i mean it makes sense you wouldn't want to eat a house or something like that that's somebody's place of that's where they live you can't just eat the whole entire building where somebody lives that, that's messed up man they, <laughs> i don't know what type of insurance they got but i don't think they want their house to eat so pudding was able to help them out she took them over to her crib where again they were eating her house but you know she was okay with it apparently she cooked the um food that was you know the house out the house was made of like biscuits and all this other stuff and jam like basically pop tarts and she made all that which is interesting i wonder if she's a cook like sanji that'd be a cool little uh, cool little you know thing to tie them both together i don't know but uh we'll see what happens with that um and we got to see that she actually knew a lot about uh sanji and, you know that he was with this crew uh, straw hat pirates because she had recognized luffy's name she's like oh you're you're the dude that leads the crew of the dude that i'm marrying that's pretty cool but um i don't trust pudding i do not think that she could be trustworthy considering the fact that she is a daughter of big mom and you know she didn't mention that big mom has a lot of kids i think it was like 39 daughters and 46 sons i don't know man i don't know even if it is a lot i feel like each one of them are sort of like indoctrinated into the uh the uh followings of an emperor because big mom is no joke i would assume she's got quite the empire on her hands and having just the slightest slip up of any individual even if they are kids i don't think that's gonna happen so she's probably luring them into a trap um i'm trying to be as cautious as possible because we're in the new world now we're in uncharted territories enemy territory and it's not looking good considering the fact that luffy and the gang are willing to follow the map that she drew them up um she was saying like she met sanji and he was like you know willing to not marry her and all this stuff because he had to go back to his crew and she agreed with him blah 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 i don't believe none of it sanji is thirsty he was willing to do it bro and it's not until luffy pulls up and slaps him into slaps some sense into him he's not <laughs> i don't think he was willing to do that on his own volition bro but we'll have to see what she does um and you know we got to see a couple more of um big mom's crew that were you know uh invading islands for different recipes for her big tea party that she is uh, holding for sanji's marriage um she had sent i don't think they uh said the names but she sent three people to get uh eggs flour and fruit um and of those three people i was trying to think of like who the crew might be fighting but i don't think we're gonna have any big fights considering just how insane her army is i just hope that we could just get in and out quick but it doesn't seem like that's gonna be the case i don't think luffy is going in quiet at this point um beyond that i think the crew got into some filler moments almost because we're going over or going through some sea king monster things that were you know kind of tough to beat but not really luffy was able to knock him out with gear uh well regular and then gear second but not sure where that was trying to go or what it was trying to do um but then we got to see uh some like uh sort of uh hungry rampage from big mom because she didn't she was craving uh what was it croak and Bush? she was craving that and uh, she couldn't get in and she was destroying her city um very very disney fairy tale-esque town uh very willy wonka 
that's what it is you know they're just like a city of candy and food and all that stuff um and even like a lot of the uh you know inanimate objects being you know having faces and all that stuff is very disney-esque i, I compared it to alice in wonderland and all that uh, especially with their introduction sort of just like a uh just a whole disney musical number so um that's the vibe i'm getting with this place and it's uh creepy to say the least considering uh what exactly is going on within within the depths of whole cake island but we'll be continuing on with episode 78 789 if you guys would like to watch the full reaction links are always in the description and if you guys would like early reactions link also in the description i live stream on twitch which again is in the description well, without any further ado let us get into episode 7 89 lego what i don't get is why you're in this hungry rampage and you're still eating stuff <laughs> <laughs> I would think the hungry rampage could be, you know, fixed if you weren't hungry. Like, I get you're craving something. So it's, a, it's more of a, a crave attack. It's not a hunger attack. She was, she was mad from hunger. She would be, oh my God, she's killing stuff, bro. <laughs> it's a pineapple, bro. A tiny pineapple. What's that? That's not a croaking bush. You ain't even chew. Never mind. It's kind of disturbing that these <laughs> these things that she's eating are sentient. It's like, what made them? Oh my god, bro. Let me tell you, this is one step away from being very graphic. <laughs> Which is a one step away. The fact that they're sentient makes this so weird. Like, look at this, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Moscato. Not the little girl. Oh my god. She's always trying to do that. It's Bobby Moscato. The 16th son of the Charlotte family. He's about to die. <laughs> the minister of gelato. Okay. Was that a rocket launcher ice cream cone on his back? Do 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 do. That is, bro. That's definitely a rocket launcher ice cream cone. Oh my god. She's like, oh, you my kid? Oh, you dead. I don't care. Bro, if you don't pull out that ice cream cone rocket launcher. Okay, that's a devil fruit. She's doing some shit to him. She turn can she like turn people into like food? Is that what she's been doing? She turns people into food. Oh, she might have like the the treat treat fruit. <laughs> snack snack. <laughs> it's definitely the snack snack fruit, bro. Oh, you fucked up. It's over for you, buddy. Sorry to say, She's turning you into a lollipop. <laughs> She's going nuts. Oh, she did it. Oh, no. Oh, what did she do? Why is it all like slushy? Like, <laughs> I don't know, like slimy. Give me 40 years. Okay, well, it's definitely a devil fruit, but I don't know what she's doing. I thought she was going to turn him into food. Okay, so that kills him. But what did it do? And why? 
Oh my god, she really just capped her son for some food. But what did she grab out of him? What was that? She said, give me 40 years. That was like, like his lifespan. She said, life or treat? This is like, give me your life or give me a treat. But the treat ain't ready. All right, then you know what it is. So she took four. So he's not dead. I don't get it. Because if she took 40 years, is that going to kill him? Depends on how old he is, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to need a full detail. Is that my boy, Jim Bay? Young Jim Bay. Yeah, if anybody was going to solve this shit, it's my boy. Now, why are you here? That's the question. River of juice. Got a whole shark swimming through juice. <laughs> Former warlord. Boss Jim Bay. Oh, those are the crook and bush. Okay, cool. My God, they're like crying and shit. Jesus. So it's not from the chef, right? I just found those. <laughs> we have the crocambush. See, Jimbe said, I know exactly what you need. How big mom is big as hell, bro. The fact that that made her <laughs> open her mouth like that. That's a lot of crocambush. <laughs> yeah, eat that. How's that? Yeah, go now, now. Calm down and go take a look at what you did to your kid. You better be able to fix that. That's crazy. I guess she has like a hundred kids, but bro. <laughs> okay. So now you're good. Yeah, this is going to be a weird one, bro. I can already tell. This is going to be a weird one. You want to you want to talk about this right now, Jinbei? She <laughs> she kind of did some dastardly shit. I don't know if she <laughs> if she's in the mood. You might want to wait till like the tea party or some shit where she's really eating. She's had her fill, and then you know she maybe she's drunk or some shit. <laughs> That's when you ask about shit like that. Not after she just killed her own kid. Like <laughs> That's kind of crazy. But it's Jinbei. You can get it done. Cheese Island. Again. It's juice. Oh no. They're about to drink it up. <laughs> There's no way a whole sea is going to be juice. Like. You think you try making an entire sea juice, it'd be a little watered down. Cause that's a lot of water. <laughs> like, what flavoring did they put in there? And it will not have that effect on Luffy. The same sea effect. Or if it's just straight up juice, I don't know how that works. Luffy, this is not safe at all, dude. This is not safe at all. Oh, that's bigger than the ship, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Fruit football fish? Wow. Luffy got baited. Luffy got baited so easily. That's what I said, bro. Lu food is Luffy's biggest weakness. This is not a good place for him. <laughs> He's gonna get tricked so many times. Watermelon splitting, a new move just for you. Feel grateful. Yeah, all right. That's that's a snack for the road, bro. <laughs> Some good. Oh, they they chopped it up nicely, and the orange and the peach. 
There you go. That's a lot of fruit. You better eat. You better munch down on all that. Fruit goes bad quick, bro. <laughs> you better finish all of that up. Yeah, it's no problem with Luffy. <laughs> At least it's not like candies and sweets and all that, bro. <laughs> At least this is somewhat good for you. Like, still got it's still a lot of sugar, but I mean, <laughs> better than Pop Tarts and shit. Like, yeah, it's fruit. Got some vitamins in there, some minerals. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not. Y'all are appetite killers, bro. The way y'all be eating. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to eat food that this little Luffy's <laughs> grappling on. Like, <laughs> Oh, boy. Here we go. I respect Jinbei, bro. This man holding up to an emperor's face talking about I'm trying to leave. <laughs> she literally has a whole power that can kill you somehow. And he's not afraid about it. He's like, some man shit, bro. <laughs> man's got to do what a man's got to do. If I got to pull up face to face. I'll do it. Don't care who you are. Big boss Jimbe. They're just shaking the ground with each step. Oh yeah, this is the part where okay. Nobody wanted to donate their blood. I was really mad at this part, bro. I remember this one. I remember my video on this one, bro. I was so mad. <laughs> he just saved their lives and nobody, nobody stepped up. Join my crew. Which is crazy because I don't think we've had anybody join the crew post time skip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had obligations. So this was it. fire bro I, i'm glad he was still thinking about joining but that's assuming all this is so that he can join i would assume so since they're flashing back to that okay that's cool i would love i've been i've been a jimbe supporter a, a, you know i've been here with jimbe since we first met him bro this man has been through thick and thin for Luffy in the short time that they known each other. I mean, I'm, they just met each other and impelled down barely. And then after that, it was two years and then they met each other again in, um, on Fishman Island. But still, you know, the, the respect that I have for that guy is just amazing character for sure. So I wanted him to join for a long time, bro. He's really good. Um, and he make a, you know, a great addition to the team you know double fruit or not you know he doesn't exactly have a specific skill set that we might need you know everybody has sort of their role but i think he's just an overall good team member to have and like you know he has uh, he has leadership knowledge i think so he'd be good to have in case luffy is ever you know doubting himself with whatever you know objective there is um but considering the current uh, mission that they have him leaving big mom and seeing what luffy's trying to do right now i wonder how that's going to look for him um because he's essentially going straight from ally to enemy for big mom so uh we'll have to see how they go about that um but regardless uh if that's the case it's if it's in order to join luffy and them um i hope it works out i really do because i need that man on the team um, but beyond that, this ability is really confusing me. I don't know what was 
it was after what how, how did this happen okay so he did this can you recognize me and then some void shit happened i'm guessing she activated her devil fruit power at that point and what did it do to him because he's got this stuff flowing out of him is that like his life force because she asked life or treat and he didn't exactly answer <laughs> Because uh, it was like life retreat, lifespan, or snack. Okay. So it's give me the snack or I take your lifespan. Okay. So her devil fruit takes specific amount of years from their life. All right. Let's get into the next episode here. Episode 790. Lego. Sweet city. Oh boy, that's not a city you want to live in. The looming terror of your so-called leader <laughs> just eating your home. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if I want to stay there. Killed her kid right in front of everybody. The randos are crying more than Big Mom does. She's like, I mean, you know, I got like a hundred of them. Like, I don't really need them like that. What is that? This place is so weird, dude. This place is so weird. One Piece loves doing this, bro. They just love throwing you into these areas, these cities, these worlds or whatever, and just <laughs> having the weirdest stuff go on and then slowly explain what's going on throughout the arc. <laughs> Jimbe really a fan, bro. <laughs> That's cool to see. Look at him blushing. Look at him blushing. Jimbe really said, "That's the man right there." That's cool that you can give respect to Luffy like that. It's gonna look bad if he break tie breaks ties with uh big mom and then joins up with luffy and then luffy pulls up i, I mean i already said that but i mean that's <laughs> this ain't gonna be a good look in a little bit luffy crashes that part he says i want sanji back then jimbe's right there yeah you better listen to my captain he's like oh jimbe so this is what you're doing i thought you were an honorable man oh boy Homie's telling him to go on. I always think this is a tough thing for people to do. They already have long-standing relationships, you know. It doesn't always happen whenever they leave friends or family in order to join the crew. We've seen it with like who's Sanji, Nami, I guess. Um Chopper, Usopp. Actually, I've seen a couple of them. <laughs> Frankie. But I don't know if we've ever had a captain of another crew pull up and join us. That's different. How do these things become sentient? I need to understand. Yeah, and Straw Hat's going to gain that. Oh no, she's going to take his lifespan, bro. Oh god. If you want to leave me, you got to you got to drop some years. The roulette. What type of roulette we talking about? Oh boy. She's a demon, bro. You ain't finna make him throw. Oh god. 
What is he gonna do? He's gonna throw darts and choose what he loses? You better hit that 10. <laughs> you better hit that 10, buddy. Hey, you better not you better not touch my man's. You don't need my boy losing a leg before he joins the crew. Like, <laughs> please don't nerf him <laughs> before he joins the crew. That's messed up. We need full power Jimbe, bro. Have we gotten through the juice? What happened now? What type of C is this? Some type of sugar? Oh my god, what did they do, bro? <laughs> what is it, glaze? No, glaze isn't like that. Uh, I don't know what that is. Starch syrup. Damn, syrup solidifies like that? Like, <laughs> oh my lord. We better. I thought that was already the plan. We don't need to steal the whole poneglyph though. We just need to get what's written on it. I need to split up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's always the case. Of course, bro. He's, he's the MC. That's what he was written to be. The luckiest on the... Was it five C's? <laughs> oh no, they're waking up. The ship eating ants. Here we go. Time to throw hands. They'll say your name. <laughs> Are you Pokemon? Yes, sir. Kung Fu Chopper. There you go. Well, they really throwing hands out here. Yeah. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> Should have done that a while ago. Just break all of it. He bit him on the ass. Oh my god. No, the. <laughs> The sunnies <laughs> gonna get chomped up. No, oh, Frankie's about to be pissed, bro. Please don't tell me the sunnies got a <laughs> it's about bandages on the sunny, bro. <laughs> no, the sunny was damaged in combat. Oh my god, <laughs> is it Arlong? What type of Oh, they're there. About time. Over here, all this filler. <laughs> Not me put on armor, bro. That's about the smartest thing to do right now. You don't know who's going to pull up in this area. Here we are. Whole cake island. A literal cake. <laughs> Because why not? We've had island of ice and lava and under the sea and island of sunflowers. Might as well get us a cake. Because it's the new world. Pre-time skip, grand line, bro. It was too vanilla. You know what I mean? <laughs> there was nothing going on. Now we're in the real. We in the real.
Hopefully not Sanji. You're gonna trick me. Nope. It's BS. It's Cap. It's not Sanji. I never believe anything this show decides to let me see, bro. <laughs> I can't believe it, bro. I have been tricked far too many times. I need to see it to believe it, not this shadowy figure. Nah, that's Cap. Anyways. Still don't believe pudding, bro. I still don't. I still don't. I have the the slightest sneaking suspicion that her helping us this early on, especially with how pivotal she is to what's currently going on with our predicament here, trying to get Sanji. I do not believe that pudding is as innocent as she's letting on. You know what? I just can't do it, man. I can't do it. Can't trust these people out here. These. He's the, the familial the familial relationship with Big Mom is just nah. I can't do it. Um now she did get us to the island safely, but you know what? The island is exactly where she'd want us to be, right? <laughs> That's where apparently the main forces lie, especially Big Mom. So I'd imagine she wanna she want the strides to get there as soon as possible so that they can handle them appropriately. But you know, it still works out for us because now we're able to get to the area where Sanji is currently being uh, held. Now, we'll have to see how exactly Sanji, um, you know, responds to Luffy and them being there. If that if this shadowy figure is him or not, I mean, we'll have to see. But if it's not, which I'm pretty sure it's not going to be him, um, I'm not entirely sure that he's going to leave willingly. Um, I think the threat of Big Mom is far too great for him to just want to leave. I don't think he wants to put the crew in danger because of him, sort of, well, exactly like how <laughs> Robin's thing is going on. Um, you remember, we all remember, that was just a terrifying arc. Um, but obviously Robin was not exactly, um, you know, inclined on joining the crew once again after um being taken in by the government because she didn't want to put the crew in danger because of her because she assumed the government was far too big of a threat for the straw hats to handle but she was sorely mistaken after we beat cp9 into the gravel well actually no it was more so after we burned the flag and she saw just how serious we were um but i think this is a bit of a bigger uh threat um you know the government is no uh <laughs> government is no slouch but i mean a, an emperor it's kind of scary so i don't think sanji wants to put us in those crosshairs although we are already in the crosshairs of kaido so we'll have to see how sanji decides to rationalize this if he decides to leave if he decides not to leave i don't know how they're gonna go about this um but i don't i, I think in order to stretch out this arc um, I think they're going to make it so that Sanji doesn't want to leave just yet. Uh, so we'll have to see how they handle that. But let's get to the final episode of this video. Episode 7. 91. Let's go. All right. Let's get into it. 7. 91. Told you it was Cap. It's always Cap. Always Cap, man. <laughs> Where my boy Sanji at? The submerging shark merger submarine shark shark submerge three. I remember the name. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Oh, them two are going? Okay. Yeah, that's that's a good squad for covert operations. You got a ghost and you got a, a reliable guy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what. Um, yeah, okay, get the copy. We don't need the whole stone. You really scratched that. 
on the tile, bro. You know what? You gotta fix that, bro. Like, <laughs> that ain't cheap to fix, bro. Over here scratching up our bathroom, like, those are just some expensive tiles. Could just wrote a note. Why does Frankie have to speak like that, bro? <laughs> Thanks for the info, Frankie. <laughs> Oxygen good enough. <laughs> Very thorough. Very thorough system they have there. I feel like it's more than just cake here. They look like pasta right there, bro. Kind of, is that some green apple waterfall? <laughs> smell adventure? No, you smell food everywhere. Pudding. Pudding's still back on the chocolate town. This man's already munching, bro. <laughs> the soil is whipped cream. How does that even work? Don't eat the ground. Yeah, just like every town we go to, it seems all lovely and happy and wonderful until you really learn what's going on in this place and then it's just an absolute demonic hellhole. Here we go. Alright, never mind. It's, it's some bullshit. <laughs> it's some bullshit. Sanji does a Naruto run, bro. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> It's a trick. Someone's using the shadow clone. It's a ninja. What is this forest? Yeah, it's far more than cake. You got lollipops. You got... What is that? Is that a donut? Candied forest, bro. <laughs> Cause it's not Sanji, it's an illusion. It's a trap. The illusion drags you into the forest so that it can destroy you bro yeah the forest it's the forest what's it gonna do the eerie candied forest split up are you dumb it's all on purpose bro it's all on purpose we're about to get messed up in here chase a hunch are you crazy <laughs> yeah look at them drooling haven't y'all been eating bro y'all been on that time oh my god bro <laughs> yeah stay with nami please head the group the only level-headed individual right now who's Nami, who's not <laughs> being tricked by the food. Melon juice? I thought it was like some type of green apple. 
Let's eat the bridge. Oh boy. There's something in the melon juice. There is always something in the melon juice. Oh my. That shit glowing, bro. Rip. Can't say she didn't warn y'all. I mean, it is what it is. I think closing its mouth super, super slowly. <laughs> All right, well, everyone got out. Crocodile. Now, why you do that, bro? Why, why you do that, big bro? Why is he? <laughs> of course he talks. <laughs> if that surprises you, take a look at us. <laughs> Animals wearing clothes and speaking. How insane. As if we don't have a talking reindeer and rabbit on our team right now. Oh, now things are getting dark and eerie. Ooh, look at that. Scene changed up quick. Oh boy. Yep, it is something. It's something weird going on, bro. Double the Luffy. What is going on, bro? What is this place? It's like... Normally, each island has like one or two gimmicks. This thing has had like eight. <laughs> There's always something more going on. And normally, all the gimmicks are like connected to one or two central things to the island. I don't understand how all of this is going to be connected, bro. Like islands of food and candy and then like this illusionary stuff going on. Big mom's ability, whatever that is. And then items having faces and stuff like what is this? different about them oh yeah the scar is on the other side so it's a mirror like a mirror forest so how did the Sanji thing work is Sanji actually here and they showed a mirror image of Sanji Okay, there he is. Is this supposed to be like a <laughs> they don't shade to the four kids Sanji? <laughs> and they actually hit each other. So four kids Sanji had the lollipop instead of the cigarette. <laughs> four kids Sanji is back, bro. That ain't the real Sanji. Uh, that's the fake one. Luffy is his own worst enemy, bro. If there's anything that's going to give Luffy a good fight, it's himself. That's good training, though. Fighting yourself. If you could beat your own ass, are you stronger or weaker? Like, <laughs> how does that go? It's like, what do I need to improve if I beat my own ass? I was able to outplay myself, but also, I got beaten. So what's the uh what's the final verdict there? Did they both use that? So they both had trees to hang on to in order to <laughs> slingshot into each other. What is this? I am so confused.
whatever this is is just making it lose energy because i don't really think that <laughs> there's going to be any end to that if you're just doing the exact same attacks to yourself they're always going to connect like i mean whoever is doing this that's a pretty insane you know ability to have to be able to you know mimic another person's exact movements to the point where they're fighting that person they can't even win because it's the exact same movements so you're gonna have to find out whoever's casting this mirror image i'm pretty sure it's gonna be some type of uh devil fruit but i'm not entirely sure how that correlates to the sanji thing because with luffy obviously it's a mirror sort of thing going on so that's pretty easy it's just copying him and then putting him somewhere else i could see a devil fruit or something doing that but sanji is just a whole illusionary thing I and mean, maybe somebody's disguised as sanji and i don't know um very strange and like i said you know these things are slowly piling up to the point where i don't really see how they're going to be correlated to each other normally the weird things going on in islands are usually you know focused on one core thing that's happening you know punk hazard everything was connected to caesar like it seemed like it was disjointed you know you had the two flip side islands or parts of the island with the lava and the ice and then you had the sort of centaur half human half animal things and then you had um law there for some reason eventually it all made sense i'm not, i'm not saying this isn't going to make sense eventually i'm sure everything will connect together but um like i'm not i'm not really finding the correlation here like how exactly all of this is going to make sense at the end like i i just feel like the way these islands are created it just like slowly finds some type of descent into madness because you're just like how do you think of this stuff <laughs> like what is going on here why is this all need to be like this and how long did it take for all this stuff to come together like this like um not not like in the actual sense of oda writing this but like within the story sense of the lore and all that like big mom what did she have to do to accomplish all this like she had to be in power for a while for all this to be the way it is right now she has people living there bro like that's crazy like <laughs> she has her own like sort of civilization of people that are there living comfortably in homes and stuff like this didn't just happen in the past 10 years this is like a this is taking like at the very least a couple of i don't even know like how long was it like that take i'd imagine like to build a civilization like that 80 years maybe i don't know but she's unless she came into here and it was already like this but like considering who she is i'd imagine she created these islands to be the way they are i don't even know how these islands were created like who did this maybe that ended up itself as a dome fruit someone's able to like you know create like candy and sweets and stuff with their devil fruit i don't know um but yeah just a lot of weird stuff going on and i think it's going to take a lot longer to explain i feel like the bulk of this arc is just going to be explain like trying to explain away all the craziness they've created with this so um i'm interested to see how that's going to work out but you know tricking luffy and the others into like going in here and just being you know basically entranced by all the sweets that are around them has been the most difficult thing to overcome i'm sure it'll it'll go away eventually like after a certain point you know their lives will be in enough danger to where the sweets around them won't matter but <laughs> as of right now it's just becoming a very tough thing to get through this island because of the candy that's you know i understand they were traveling here for like a week when we're on the brink of starvation but it's like i think we've had our fill at this point <laughs> um yeah that does it for this one next time we'll be watching episodes 792 to 794 but that does it for this video ladies and gentlemen hopefully you guys enjoyed these episodes just as much as i did and i hope to see you all in the next one